Warm water and dry air continues to keep activity in the Atlantic to a minimum. Justin Pavic has more. He's tracking the tropics this evening. Let's dive our way into the tropics. After all, it is the month of August and so far this season as we're specifically focusing in on the Atlantic Basin, uh, the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean. We've talked about several named systems. The most recent Dawn, Hurricane Dawn, meandering out over the open Atlantic for days and days on end. But it all boils down to ingredients when we talk about a tropical formation. Three key ingredients, warm waters, that threshold right around 80 degrees. Wind shear winds higher up in the atmosphere. Too much of that can be, well, disruptive to those the thunderstorms from organizing and sufficient moisture. Again, tropical systems, what do they produce? A lot of impacts in terms of wind and water. And in terms of warm waters, we have just a ton of that going on right now all throughout the Atlantic Basin. You can see stretching into the Gulf of Mexico into the Caribbean. Numbers here running above the historical average. But we also have a lot of dry air. Look at this dusty air mass sliding its way off to the west in the coming days, covering much of the Atlantic Basin, the Caribbean, and making its move toward the Gulf of Mexico. Coupled with uh, some wind shear too, not looking at a lot of activity here in the next couple of days. Timing wise, climatologically speaking, you get toward late August into September, we're nearing the peak of the hurricane season. I do want to show you the numbers here, the exclusive accurate the forecast for the Atlantic hurricane season. And notice we're calling for 13 to 17 named storms, four of eight of those to become hurricanes. The historical average the last 30 years was seven.